Ninus Breachcast, the world's first identity management app made exclusively for identity experts and product owners, is available in the iOS App Store now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Nidus Anarchy series. I'm your host Adam, CIO and co-founder of Nidus, and today I want to talk about Route LLM. So Route LLM is a paper slash GitHub repo slash blog that talks about a really new cool way to augment open source LLMs with the paid ones like open API and all those guys to make way better results, but not having to call out to the paid ones as much. So at lmsys.org, uh, there's a whole blog about what route LLM is, but let's just kind of go to like the meat and potatoes of it. So the whole point of this is that there's a router that sits in between all of your requests. So every time you put in a request, it says, okay, for all the stuff that you're requesting, I'm going to break these down into chunks. And then for each one of them, I'm going to determine, is this something that I can handle with a local LLM, the weak LLM, or do I need the strong LLM, in which case I need to go out to the cloud and use a paid version like ChatGPT. Then it, after it does the weights, it sends all the requests out to the different LLMs, puts it all back together and delivers you a response. The idea is that when you put in a request into into any form of an LLM, not everything needs to go to chat GPT, right? So if you're running everything on locally, like where you run this route LLM or on a server and so forth, most times you have your request going out to just OpenAI or just Cloud or just, you know, Grok or wherever, some public facing thing. But the problem is you're paying for every single one of those requests. So if you can leverage a local system using like o Olama or something like that for the easy request, then you can cut down the external calls to the ones where you have to pay for. So you can get a much cheaper, better response overall. And this, they have a whole paper about it. Uh, this is just the blog version of it. It has really cool, pretty pictures. So I'm just gonna go over that one. So the idea here, as it shows in this first chart, is the model performance versus the cost. So the idea is to pull back the cost, but get a high performance. And that's kind of what they're saying with this ideal router. So if you look here in this chart, we have this little blue dot, which is Llama 3AB. So what they're doing is they're saying, hey, for the weak, for the weak LLM, we're going to use Llama 3AB, the 8 billion token set locally. So this way it's free to run all of our inference on that one. And then anytime we have something that Llama 3 is really just isn't going to be great for, we're going to route that request out to, in this case, let's say, ChatGPT 4.0. So now with a this quote unquote ideal router that sits this brown dot here up at the top, what that's saying is that, hey, we get a much better performance with a much reduced cost by using this router system. So there's all kinds of really cool stuff here, but this is this is the big one here. So the cost reductions are over 85% on MT Bench, 45% on MMLU, and 35% on GSM 8K compared to only using GPT-4. While still, this I think this should be in bold too. While still achieving 95% of GPT-4's performance, that's really the, the biggest part about all of this, is they've reduced the cost upwards of 85%, but they're still achieving 95% of GPT-4's response rate. So that's what's really awesome. So here we'll just go skip this one here. This graph here on the right, this MT bench, this is the one that I really like because it really highlights what's going on. So we look at the different lines that are going through here. The blue one is random. Then we have um, SW ranking, matrix factorization, BERT, casual LLM. So what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, for all these requests that we're making, how what percentage of the calls need to actually go to chat GPT-4 versus using a local LLM for inference? So when, it's used, when the router is using random, it's sending everything from uh, zero all the way up to 100 all in a nice linear fashion. But when we start inferring the router, you'll see a lot more of these calls are being held by the local LLM. And this is really the magic behind the whole thing. Now what's cool here is they have a full GitHub repo out there with all the code to download. It's completely open source. So you can download and play with this locally. It's pretty rad because you can set up whatever your weak LLM is locally. So I'm, I'm using Llama 318B as my weak LLM, but you can use anything, Mistral, whatever, whatever your favorite thing is to run locally. And then from all the, the crazy stuff, it, it dumps it out. And you can watch it actually use the inference. So you can say like, hey, you know, hi, what's your name? And it'll just instantly return back a result from Llama 3. But if I give it some crazy complex, you know, algo where, uh, that it needs to figure out some crazy code, then it will call out to Claude and then return back my response from there. So Route LLM is really, really cool. I highly recommend it. If you've already been playing with Open Llama, just, just play around with it because this is really going to dramatically improve 
your performance of all your searches because you get to leverage OpenAI for the tough stuff, but it's going to drastically reduce your cost because you get to use everything as locally as much as possible. So RHEL LLM is really awesome, and I think this is just the beginning. We're going to see a lot of people develop upon this, and we're going to get some really crazy stuff. I would I would love to see if o Open Llama or Olama um, integrates RHEL LLM directly into Olama. That would be super rad because the latest Olama point two you can now multi-thread and multi-LLM. So you can have multiple LLMs running at the same time. So if we had a multiple LLMs with route LLM, we could have this Olama be massively more performant than it is now. So that's something I really wanna see. If you've already got something like that running, I'd love to know how it's worked out for you. This is gonna be my kind of my, my weekend fun thing is putting this all together and I'll let you guys know the results once I have it later. Nidus has just created the first iOS app made exclusively for identity management professionals. It's called Nidus Breachcast and you can download it now. It's amazing. We have real-time updates of all the latest breaches that are occurring, CVEs as they come out real-time, really pertaining just to identity management. We have media that's going on this podcast. We're going to be bringing in a lot more others as well. And we even have a complete vendor list of all the identity management vendors and all their products so you can find out exactly where to download their software, all the documentation. And what's even more awesome is an identity management glossary. All those crazy words and acronyms that we can never remember, they're all listed in there for you. No ads, just pure information to make your life simple.